G'day you mob, Blackie here. Today's video, we're gonna be rescaping my Feste tank. Uh, he needed a bit more space to hide in and it was looking a bit shabby. So stick around and we'll see what we get up to. <laughs> Right, eh? Feste tank was uh, in a bit of a shambles. Very filthy. Lots of blackbeard algae growing on stuff. Lots of uneaten food laying around. And quite the oily scum floating on the surface of the water. The uh, wave maker wasn't breaking the surface tension enough nor was the upwards flow from the filter in the back left corner so my main motivation was to get a couple of sponge filters in here which I knew for sure would break the surface tension of the water and break down the oily residues that were floating on top I don't know what they were from probably cheap fish food who knows, who can tell, but probably cheap fish food. Now, one of my motivations for rescaping the tank as well was where the filter was sitting on a, on a rock. The Feste's choice of hiding place was in behind that rock underneath the filter. And he's getting a little bit too large for that space. So he was scraping the side of his head on the rock. So... I didn't want him to injure himself too much so I dropped the filter to the ground level of the tank to prevent him going back in there as you can see he looks for the cave he knows it's there somewhere but he can't get in so he gets in a bit of a mood and gets a bit cranky uh, hadn't planned on doing a water change but upon removing the bits of wood and rocks and moving them around, removing excess java moss, there was a lot, as you can see, a lot of filth floating around in the tank that I then decided to get rid of. Feste still having a strop, doesn't really enjoy my hands in there, but he also doesn't enjoy the fact that he's got nowhere to run and hide. So with the level of filth in the tank and the uh, oily filth floating on the surface, uh, it was clearly obvious that changing some water would be a sensible uh, activity. So that's what I did. I didn't want to change too much out because I will be doing a proper large water change on this tank when I pull out the other two filters so I just changed probably 30 35 litres roughly of water mainly to get rid of as much of the floating detritus that I could as it is quite unsightly um, there it is there's the detritus in the bottom of the bucket didn't want to leave too much in there. He's already cranky enough, so don't necessarily want him cranky and supping on foul water. So here we go, laying rocks and stuff out. Bit haphazard. I'm not a super uh, fussy aquascaper. My main motivation for this guy's area was just to provide him a cave that he fit in a little bit better than his previous one and one where he wouldn't injure himself going in and out of and still have access from two different points have an access and an egress point so yeah a bit slap hazard bang it together chuck it in does this go here nah put it over there that's the way um, yeah that's how we do it. No rules. The rules of thirds, you can keep them. Or just have a rule of chuck it in. 
chuck it in and see how it goes. He's a cranky boy. Yes, he is. And still pretty filthy. Um, I, one of the sponge filters I'm putting in, as you can see, is coming out of my larger fish tank. It is already colonised with beneficial bacteria. Um, one of them, the one that I already put in, was a brand new one. This one, obviously, like I just said, seeded well with bacteria and also leaving the existing electronic filters in the uh, in the tank will aid in getting that bacterial colony up and established in no time at all. Once I feel that's occurred then I'll pull the uh, I'll pull the electronic filters out and just run it on sponges. Mmm, brand new. I'll save this for you, Jace. So here's potentially the most exciting part of the video where I'm hooking up the brand new air pump to the two sponge filters. Most exciting, excellent footage. I hope you are lasted this long to make it to this bit. Because crikey, isn't it fun to watch someone hook an air pump up to sponge filters? I must say it was my most enjoyable part of the day. Beautiful specimen. My water pump, one of the water tanks. Today we won't be needing the pump though, just a little bit of water. Just required to open the ball valves. Gravity does the rest. A bit slow though, very slow gravity. I can feel the time lapse coming on. With buckets filled, we trance back through the jungle to the tank to top the water back up. Uh, it seems I may have been erroneous earlier when I said the connecting of the air pump was the most exciting part of the video. Because by crikey, isn't it good fun to watch someone pour buckets of water into a small fish tank? I had a great time with that. And Feste probably enjoyed it a little bit as well, getting some fresh water. I'm sure he loved it, getting nice new water. And with a uh, topped up tank, still a bit of filth floating around in it. Gave it a little bit of time to settle before we uh, looked in for a view of the almost finished product. Chucked a few worms in, let him have a feed, but he was still very stroppy and cranky and didn't feel like coming out and showing himself. He's hiding down the back. Even the lure of worms is not enough to send him into a feeding frenzy that he'd normally engage upon when worms enter his water. So there we go, there's the Feste tank. Scaped. Not finished, but scaped for now. And to all those people who watch the live stream on Saturday night or Sunday, depending on your time zone, and were looking for Dr Black and noticed him missing and were inquiring as to my whereabouts, a thanks for your concern. I am alive. I did not have a note from my mum to say why I was absent. But uh, those in the know are in the know. They know why I was absent. And 
I shall do my very best to not let that happen again. I can't disappoint Aquamates fans who clearly watch Aquamates stream just for Dr. Black. 